Hello everyone, my name is Anas Saeed. Welcome to the video. To those who are new here, I post illustrator tips and tutorials on this channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you three different ways to create three different types of clouds. So let's get started. As you can see, I have already set up the sky background and I'm going to select the white stroke. And with the brush tool selected, I'm going into the brushes window, into the brush libraries menu, into the vector packs, into the hand drawn brushes vector pack, and finally hand drawn brush number 6. Then I'm going to apply small strokes, one on top of the other, to create the cloud shape. creating several clouds now I'm selecting all the clouds and I'm double clicking on the brush in the brushes window to open an adjustment window and I'm changing the width to 158% as you can see it has given a fluffy shape to the clouds Now I'm going to select a random stroke and I'm going to change its opacity very randomly and I'm going to do this with all of the clouds and the reason I will tell you at the end. As you can see, I'm decreasing the opacity very randomly. Now I'm selecting the first two clouds and decreasing their opacity to 42% and then I'm selecting the lower clouds and decreasing their opacity to 20%. Now the reason I told you to decrease the opacity of single strokes is that to give this watercolor effect as you can see and this sums up our first method. The next type of clouds are very subtle kind of evening type of clouds so I'm selecting white for both fill and stroke and I'm going into the brushes window and selecting mop brush this time and doing the adjustment as shown. But this time I'm doing lengthy strokes. these type of clouds are not like fluffy ones but sometimes you would see them around sunsets or around buildings okay, now I'm selecting them and I'm increasing their width by dragging them downwards and then upwards then I'm doing some adjustments moving their places the gaps and now I'm decreasing the opacity finally to 30% first I tried to go with 50 then I tried to go with 40 and then finally I found 30 the most suitable for it as you can see these are very subtle very light kind of waves type of clouds and that sums up our second way. So the next way involves making clouds with Gaussian blur. So for that I'm making some cloud like shapes with pen tool with white fill and white stroke. select them and I'm gonna go into the effect window above into the blur and then Gaussian blur and I'm setting it to 135 pixels 
It takes some time for Illustrator to process this. And there you can see the result. Of course, you can increase or decrease the amount of pixels and create your own desired effect. But now I'm gonna try it with a gradient. So I'm again gonna draw some shapes with the pen tool. But I'm gonna give them a gradient from dark gray to light gray. And again, I'm gonna apply the same effect with same 135 pixels. So this way you can create clouds, dark clouds, light clouds. And this sums up our third way too and also the entire video. So that's how you can create three different types of clouds. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share because that is what keeps me going. Just touch the button at the bottom right corner to subscribe. I will hope to see you in the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.